What's going on YouTube? It's Kevin Bo 202 and today I'm going to be announcing the release date of 20 Trap and I want to talk about the project a little bit. All right, let's just get right into it. My 30P 20 Trap is dropping April 30th, 2018. I'm very hyped to be doing this because this was something that I've been working on for a while now. Literally right after dinner talk, I hit up JNS, aka Young Crooks. I told him I'm ready. I'm ready to start on the next project. So we cooked me up some beats and I checked them out, saw what I like, and right away I can hear singles. I don't know. That's kind of how it always has been now. I hear certain beats and I just like have a feeling that this could be something, this should be a single. Let me try to prove a point on this track. So you guys had Run It Up, you had Can't Breathe, and you had Slow Down Turn Up. Continue to experiment. I mean, I'm only three projects into the game now. And I mean, I've said it like I did on Dinner Talk. I don't want anything to sound like I did before. I want you guys to know the 2 twist by now. I'm trying to have my personality, my uniqueness on a track. But at the same time, I don't want to keep making repeat tracks. So if you bought Self Made Hostage EP, or if you bought Dinner Talk, maybe you bought both. Maybe you bought some awesome ass merch that I had. Come on, it's awesome. I mean, even if you didn't buy any of my projects and you're only listening to the single, because they're free and on YouTube and streaming services. You should have an idea of what I'm about with my music, but I'm continuing to add more. I'm continuing to reinvent myself. It's the third step for my career. I'm hitting you guys with a three-peat. This is three EPs released in eight months. The reception my music has been getting has been extremely awesome. A lot of people have been supporting what I'm doing, and there's some people that are hating on me, and for me to have haters is honestly a blessing. For people to acknowledge me or for me to be on their mind. I've said it before. I think it's just awesome. They're part of the inspiration behind everything that I do. And come on, I even shout out the haters in my projects. For the people that I've been watching, wondering, this is going to be on CD and iTunes only. It's great that I've now figured out how to have my music on iTunes and not be robbed by a company. I'll probably have a pre-order or something like that set up, so that should be pretty cool. And of course, I gotta have CDs again. I love being able to have physical copies. They are going to be limited again, like my last two projects, as one of a hundred. So make sure you grab your copies when they're dropping. And again, just like my last two projects, if you buy two copies, I'll keep one sealed with a promo sticker and I'll autograph the artwork of another copy. And if you do buy a copy and I blow up and you decide to put them on eBay and I find out that they're on there for like $300, I will kill you. <laughs> this is the third official release under 202 Records. It's entirely produced by Young Crooks, aka JNS Productions, the producer of Dinner Talk. A lot of people love the production on Dinner Talk, and people have told me that they think he's awesome. He's the homie too, so of course I had to work with him again. But alright, let's talk about the actual project. 20 Trap was the title I came up with. There are a lot of trap records on this project, but it's not like a generic trap project. I'm putting the 202 twist on it, so it's 20 Trap. If you have any expectations from the singles, I don't think you should. Usually I want the singles to represent a majority of the project, but I kind of feel like almost every track is extremely different from the others. There are going to be seven songs and three skits, and this is going to be an interesting project. You had three singles. You had Run It Up, a fun hustle and track. You had Can't Breathe, me displaying my lyricism skill, and the vibe to that beat is so unique and so awesome. Shout out to Young Crooks. Then you had Slow Down, Turn Up. People have mentioned it before, and I've talked about it a few times, and sometimes I feel like I'm doing too much. I mean, three EPs in eight months. That's nine singles, some music videos. Sometimes I do feel like I should slow it down some. I mean, I run through all these tracks like a mother... Marathon. That beat is pretty hard too. There is a song on this project that is very different from stuff I've done before. It's not an actual singing song, but it has an actual melody. I usually like to just switch flows on and stuff like that, but this was pretty different for even me. And even the beat itself is different from anything I've done before. It's a pretty good track with pretty good meaning, so I think people are going to like this one a lot. And the bars on it are pretty good. There's another track where I'm kind of just clowning haters in general. Since they love to talk about me so much, I like to talk about them sometimes too. But the difference is when they talk about me, they're only gaining more attention to my name. And I'm talking about them. I'm not calling anybody out by name, so it kind of don't matter. But again, I wouldn't be here without their support, so to the haters, thank you. There is some pretty funny bars on here, and I think people will like this one a lot, too. There's a song on here that is definitely the most anticipated track on the project. It is the return of Bozo 202. I wasn't sure if I was going to go back and do another Bozo 202 track, but the reception that the first one got, people were calling it hardcore, and that they don't hear a lot of music like that anymore, especially from a young artist like me. But Bozo 202 on Dinner Talk really clicked, and I was kind of surprised as much as it did. I mean, I thought it was kind of funny, but at the same time dark. But when Young Crook sent me this beat, I was kind of like, I don't know. I don't know if I want to do another Bozo 202 track. So I gave it some time, I thought about it, and I'm working more into the project, and I'm putting songs together. And then I started listening to the beat again, and some stuff started coming to me. So I figured, you know what, let's do it. Let's do one more. Let's see what happens. And I did announce it in a video before. A lot of people have been messaging me on Instagram and Snapchat that they're excited for the track. Trust me, it's one to be excited for. And then there's another song that's really just pure trap. I'm doing my hustle talk while switching up rhyme schemes. There's some pretty funny bars on this one, too. And there is a very big reference to 202. And for the people that don't know what 202 is, even though I did a video on it earlier this year, once they hear the song, they'll have a clear idea of exactly what it is. Taking those tracks mixed with the singles and having some awesome skits on it. To me, the intro and outro are absolutely hilarious. The third skit is I don't want to give anything away, but it is absolutely hilarious. Overall, though, with listening to the project and the way I did things this time around, I'm only continuing to grow as an artist and I want to keep writing and I want to keep putting out music, but I realized that I should probably be focusing on the other music that I already have out now. Try to share those songs and get them out there more because I feel like I have some really good heat out right now and so many people would be extremely interested 
interested in my music if I was just able to get myself out there more. Music videos, everything like that is planned. And I'm trying to get some merch done. So if I'm able to get things going a little bit more, I am going to have some merch for this project. I want to do shirts because these ones sold pretty good. I do have some left still, but I mean, I profited and I still have others. So that's cool. But I want to have like an actual promo item. I think that would be pretty cool. But it would be, it would go perfect with the project. I want to have actual 202 bills printed out. It obviously wouldn't be like actual money paper, but it would be the exact size of an actual bill. High gloss and just look awesome. There's some things I have to finish up first, but I definitely want to get these out. And again, we're coming to the release of another project of mine. The first time around, I wasn't nervous. I was just really eager to see what the reactions were going to be. But once I saw people were feeling my music and they really liked it a lot, not just the singles, because when the singles came out, people told me they liked them and they want to know what I'm doing next and if I'm going to do a tape and this and that. But when the EP was actually out and people were listening to songs and saying Jacked Up was their favorite or they really like Stupid Is and Stupid Does, it gave me so much confidence with music. With Dinner Talk, I didn't know what the expectations were going to be. All I knew in December was I was so excited to get another project out. I knew if I was going to follow up Self Made Hostage EP, I really had to bring some stuff to the table. No pun intended. Dinner talk table. But this, this being my third project, this feels really right to me, and I can't wait to see what the reactions are going to be. Right now, Jacob Scholler is taking the cake for doing Kevin Bow 202 reviews. I just saw recently that his self-made hostage EP CD review is at like over 1,100 views, and then he reviewed Dinner Talk and the Kevin Bow 202 shirt. That's getting a lot of views. He told me he's going to be doing a review of this project too, and I definitely look forward to seeing what he thinks of the tracks. But I want to encourage you guys too, if you guys do decide to buy the CD, or if you buy the iTunes downloads, whatever you do, I always want to know feedback. If you comment your reactions and stuff like that, I'm going to do a video talking about fan reactions and stuff again. But I'm always interested in knowing what the fans think, the actual fans of mine. I want to know your overall thoughts, if you felt like the track placement was right, or just the vibes the whole project's putting off. Like, is it enjoyable to you? What did you think? Is it one to go back and listen to? What tracks didn't you like? What tracks did you like? That's what I want to know. And if you want to be shout out on my channel, definitely make a review video. I'm not nervous. I'm definitely pretty excited. But this time around, I'm just more interested in seeing what the reactions are going to be. I'm glad people like the singles as much as they did, but I really want to know what they think of these tracks because I proved a lot of points on these tracks. On some of them, I'm stepping my lyricism skills up a little bit more. That's why I made Can't Breathe the single. And other ones, I'm just going right back to the hard bars. I don't know. I I'm just excited. All right, 202 Trap is coming soon. iTunes pre-orders will be up and out pretty soon. Once the physical copies are made and arrived, I will be showing videos of them all. And all right, guys, I'm Kevin Bow 202 I hope you enjoyed the video and peace out, guys. I just left you girls and I might pipe again. Just might. You feeling what I'm doing? Want to show me your friend? God damn. We go hit up the mall, brought some money to spend. I'll hit it one last time, then this shit gotta end yeah. Why he gotta kill it, why do these bitches feel it? Why, why haters in the comments, so my nuts like squirrels with peanuts?